Sending your student off to college can be stressful for families, parents, and students alike. My top three pieces of advice as you're preparing to send your student off to college are number one, teach your student self-advocacy skills. That is the ability to ask for help. Number two, during that first year when they're having pitfalls and challenges, resist the temptation to step in and rescue them. Number three, as you're attending orientation and familiarizing yourself with your student's college or university, make sure that you are aware of all the resources that are available at the institution to help your student adjust to that first year of college. Let's first talk about self-advocacy skills and the different components of self-advocacy skills. Tell your student that it's a-okay to speak up. If they're experiencing challenges in the classroom or adjusting to life in the residence halls or trying to get involved with campus life and they're having some troubles in any of those areas, tell them it's absolutely okay to speak up and ask for help, that the college and university experts and officials on campus are eager and anxious to assist them with their adjustment to college. Make sure that they're aware of what the problem is exactly. So if they call you and they're telling you they're in distress, help them clarify what the exact problem is. So for example, if in your conversation you discover with your student that your student is homesick and you're, you've made yourself aware of the resources of the college or university, you would know, for example, that counseling or residence life could be good resources when your students are experiencing distress with homesickness. Resist the temptation to step in and help. The adolescent stage of development or that emergent stage of development is really an emotionally laden stage of development. And when our students tell us when they're distressed, sometimes as family members, we can take on those emotions and feel stressed ourselves. Try to detach. Most often when you're talking to your student, during one time of the day, you'll be speaking with them and they're stressed and distressed and you take on those emotions. But later on, whatever was going on with them is far in their um, rear view mirror. And you've spent the day stressing about it when they've moved on to the next challenge or the next piece of fun they might be having while they're at college or university. Lastly, be absolutely sure when you are attending orientation and you're familiarizing yourself with your students campus that you really understand all of the programs and services that are available to them to help them with those adjustment issues that they will surely experience during that first year of college. So my top three pieces of advice are to work on teaching your student self-advocacy skills, resist the temptation to step in and rescue them, detach from the process if you can, and number three, be sure that you understand the resources that are available on your student's campus and understand the philosophy that they have interfacing with parents, helping students adjust to that first year college experience.